Comcast in New Jersey alone is a $1.2 billion operation. Upon training their senior leadership team at the beginning of this process about four or five years ago, one of the more interesting examples came out from one of the directors of marketing. And she was saying to me that one of my supervisors has a challenge with some of the customer service reps. And I'm curious to know from what we're doing how we could help transform that, create more alignment, more engagement, more support, more efficiency, all that good stuff. I said, what's the situation? He said, well, the other day we had Brian Roberts and Stephen Burke, two of the key leaders, obviously, of Comcast, on kind of the you know, TV set doing their Comcast State of the Union address, right? What's going on, what's happening, what we, we all need to do of 60,000 employees to help move things forward. And one of the things that they were talking about was this, and this is true around Comcast across the board. Those of us that have Comcast would say this isn't as effective, but it is their distinguishing factor of success, which is, what do you think? What do you think their distinguishing factor of success would be? Some examples. What's that? Slow service is a factor of their success, right? <laughs> now, here's the thing to be aware of. This customer service rep said, I'm watching Brian and I'm watching Steven. I don't understand what they're saying, how it relates to me. Now, the distinguishing factor of their success is the customer service rep said, I don't see how what they said relates to me. The I'll say it again. The distinguishing factor is customer service. The customer service rep, parentheses S, have been saying, I never understand what's going on. I'm just in the trenches answering phones. What's the big deal? Why do I have to watch this? What is the fundamental flaw within that example that we need to be aware of for our own selves with our own organizations? What's the flaw in that real situation there? The person is not engaged. Oh, God, it's a job. It's a, it's a job. I am absolutely executing an activity of answering phones. That's it. What else? What else is wrong? This is a true example. 1.2 billion. If they are horrible with us, now I don't have Comcast. I live where I get cable vision, which, believe it or not, is actually a lot better. I hate to say that because I'm a Philly guy, but it's true. But what, I mean, what could eventually happen with this if that really isn't addressed? Now, they'll continue to go, right? Plans fail. But what can, exact, what can happen with this situation if that is a per pervasive thought among all customer service and Comcast? Let's say majority. It's going to erode their business. How? Even though we're not in this sector, let's be aware of some of these factors that will influence how we impact as well. What will eventually happen in the Verizons of the world, the cable visions of the world, where they're all doing these kind of three parts? What's going to, what could eventually happen to their? their yeah. Look at all the negative impact I got when I just said, what's the distinguishing factor? Slow service, monopoly, they're diversifying. No one ever said, well, they're so about the customer because we don't see it, do we? Do we feel like the experience when we're there is it about the customer? Do we have other services that you purchase that you know it's about the customer, more about the customer? In other words, do you get better service beyond Comcast in some places? Never? But to build on that, the question is, this is their, this, this is their language, distinguishing factor of success. What does distinguishing mean? What they're most known for. And the first response was slow service. So my question to you is, what is the gap among the vision and results that you're looking to get and where you're at? Because what you think may be the gap could be even deeper than what you think.